today's video, we are going to be doing a comparison between the Giant Talon 4 and the Giant Talon 3. So let's start off with all the common features between both these bikes. The 29 inch tires are mounted on double wall alloy rims. The front fork has a 100mm hydraulic suspension from SR Santu. This does not have a lockout, but it does have a load adjuster. The brakes and the gear shifters are mounted on separate units. This is mounted on a 730mm alloy handlebar. Which is mounted on a 50mm step with a 7 degree rise. The 7x2 drivetrain has a Shimano Turny rear derailleur. And a Shimano Altis front derailleur. Quick release levers are available on both the wheels and the seat post. The Giant Talon 4 has dual mechanical disc brakes. Both are 160mm discs and the brakes are from Tektro. The Giant Talon 3 has dual hydraulic disc brakes. While the rear is a 160mm disc, the front is a 180mm disc. The brakes are once again from Tektro. The Giant Talon 3 and the Giant Talon 4 have an average weight of 14 kgs. The internal routing of cables makes sure that your bike has nice clean lines. Plastic pedals are standard as is a single accessory mounting point. The seat and the hand grips ensure rider comfort. Now for the pricing, the Giant Talon 4 is priced at 40,000 rupees. The Giant Talon 3 is priced at 47,000 rupees. Now that we're done with the reviews of these bikes, I'm going to take you to another store to see another bike. So we are here at Pedal in Tandem and we are going to be seeing a particular bike, the Velosh Urban 2.0. The 740 seat tyres are mounted on double wall alloy rims. This is mounted on a Shimano hub. In the front, we have a 60mm hydraulic fork from SR Suntour. This fork comes without a lockout. The brakes and gear shifters are mounted on separate units. This is mounted on a 700mm alloy handlebar.
which is mounted on a 55 mm stand. The headset on this is from FSA. The seat and the hand grips offer good riding comfort. The 24 speed drivetrain has a Shimano Acera rear derailleur and a Shimano Turny front derailleur. Quick release levers available on both the wheels and the seat post. Plastic pedals are standard as a single accessory mounting point. Braking is provided by dual 160mm hydraulic disc brakes from Shimano. This bike weighs in at about 15 kgs. With a price of 29,000 rupees, this is a hybrid from Veloce. So this is my video for three bikes today, but that's not all. Right now, I'm going to go back home and I have a question for you guys, my viewers. My next giveaway, what is it? Wait and watch. just saw a comparison between the Talon 4 and 3. You also saw a new brand in the market, the Veloce. And this was a hybrid. They also have some MTBs. Hopefully, I'll get that bike to review soon. But in the meanwhile, I am planning my next giveaway. And this time, I want you guys to give me your feedback and your thoughts on what you would like. So Tuesday morning at 9.30, I'm going to be putting up a poll over there you'll have all two options, option A and option B. You have to choose which one you would like. Now over there I'm not going to show you what is option A or what is option B. For that you have to see this video. This is option A. And this is option B. So don't forget Tuesday morning at 9.30 on my YouTube page. And until next time, safe ride everyone.